uses of past progressive. Or uh, sometimes we say past continuous tenses. All right. Okay. Let's talk about the uses of past progressive or past continuous tenses. All right. So one of the uses is what? Okay. Uh, interrupted action in the past. The action that is going on in the past, but interrupted by the past simple. So that was the interrupted action in the past. This is one of the use of the past progressive or the past continuous tense. All right, let's see some example here. How this interrupt, uh, you know? So there is an action that is going on in the past, but another action interrupted. And that other action that interrupted is the past simple. Oh, let's see some example here. So first, when we are talking about this interruption, we're gonna talk about what we call time clauses. You know, all of us know clauses. You know, when we talk about clauses, we have the main clause and the subordinate clause. You know, so here we're going to talk about the main clause and the time clause. You know, so when we talk about time clause, we have words that indicate time. But here we're going to talk about when versus why. You know, there are a lot of words that indicate time. You know what I mean? So that's what we're calling time clauses. You know, so these are subordinate clauses. So they are time clauses. So like example here when versus why so we gotta deal with when versus why you know but I something you gotta understand here the formula for why is different from the formula for when so for when in the formula mostly we use when in the past simple why is used in the in the past progressive all right guys let's go let's see some example here when the formula so the formula gotta be what when plus the subject, plus the verb to, that is the past form, you know. So that's why we say, we call it the past simple. So, so we use when in past simple, all right? Then why, we use why in past progressive. So let's see the formula for why, okay? So why plus what, plus subject, uh, plus the be verb, um plus the verb ing so this is the what past progressive so this is the different you gotta know the difference between when and why you know in time clause these are time clause these are words that indicate time but the difference here we use why in past progressive then when in past simple you know what i mean so these are the things you gotta be careful guys you know in time clause you know we have a lot of words that indicate time, but these are the two words we're going to talk about here, when versus why. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. All right, guys. Okay, let's do the examples here. We have a lot of examples. Or right? Let's see how the action interrupted uh, the action that is going on in the past. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. I was watching TV. There is an action that, that was going on in the past. I was watching TV. So let's see the action that interrupt. you know. So the action I interrupt is what? When she called. So when she called is a time clause. You know? So the time clause is in what? Past simple. It's the one that interrupt the action that was going on in the past. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. While we were having the picnic, that is the action that was going on in the past. Reason why. All right? So it started to ruin. So it started to ruin. This is the interrupted action in the past and this interrupted action here is the main clause so the time clause here is what why we why we we are having the picnic that is a time clause so you're gonna see a comma here so there's a comma there so it started to rain there is the main clause all right i know you guys you know about clauses you understand much about clauses you know all right but here we are just focusing on what the interrupted action in the past all right Okay, guys, let's go. What we are you doing? So this was the action that was going on in the past. So which action that interrupt? So the action that interrupt is what? When the earthquake started. So that is the time clause that interrupt the action that was going on in the past. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. Why John was sleeping last night? So this is the action that was going on in the past. So which one that interrupted? So the one that interrupted is someone stole his car. So someone stole his car is the action that interrupt this action that was going on in the past. 
so that's what we say interrupted action in the past so all the interrupted action here they are in the past all right guys okay number two the uses that's number two specific time as an interruption so here we're going to talk about specific time here yeah this is the action that is going on in the past but interrupted by the specific time you know i know all of us know uh the past symbol you know about specific time all right okay guys let's go let's see the example here last night at 6 p.m last night at 6 p.m so you gotta see a comma so that's what every time you see the time clause come after the main clause what we have you can see a comma there and last night at 6 p.m is a time clause and this time clause is a specific time all right so okay let's go to the main clause here i was hearing dinner so i was hearing dinner this was the action that was going on and interrupted by a specific time and the specific time is what last night at 6 p.m so last night at 6 p.m interrupted the action that was going on in the past all right okay all right good. let's go at night at night this indicate time all right so there's a comma there all right okay we were still driving through the desert so this was the action that was going on in the past but interrupted by the time at night you know so interrupted by the time at night so because yeah, in it indicating time it come after the main clause then we're going to use a comma there that's what you're going to see a comma there you know but if the main clause you have come after the time clause there it, it, this, there is no comma all right okay guys let's go yesterday at this time this indicating time yesterday at this time all right well this is a specific time all right so this specific time interrupt the action so let's see the action that is specific time interrupt okay I was sitting at my desk at work so I was sitting at my desk at work was interrupted by the uh, by the specific time yesterday at this time so you're gonna see a comma there so interrupt so interrupted this action that was going on in the past all right so we are still on the interruption you know important so this is important about the past simple and the past progressive in specific time all right okay guys so like example here in the past simple a specific time is used to show when an action began or finish so you're gonna see here the specific time in past simple so in the past continuous test that is the past progressive what happened here a specific time is only interrupt the action so a specific time only interrupt the action all right so you gotta take care of this difference you know in specific time all right so like example here last night at 6 p.m there is a specific time okay i ate dinner so this action is finished so last night at 6 p.m i ate dinner so there is a specific time it's finished are you gonna see there's a comma there all right okay so that's what tell you that there's a time clause so the time clause come after the main clause. We gotta have a comma there. All right. I started hearing at six p.m. So, yeah. So you gotta see uh, the action started at six p.m. So this is the past simple. Started mean begin, began, finish. All right. So I started at six p.m. So this is a past simple. All right. So now let's come to the past progressive. So we are the specific time is only interrupt the action. So we are the specific time interrupt the action. So let's see here. So like example here, last night at 6 p.m. I was eating dinner. So I was eating dinner. This is the action that was going on in the past interrupted by the specific time last night at 6 p.m. So last night at 6 p.m. that interrupted the action that was going on in the past. I was eating dinner. All right, so this is the difference you're gonna know in this interruption and area about specific time. All right, so this is just for you to indicate when you use the specific time in past progressive and in past simple. All right, okay, guys, let's go. I started earlier, and at 6 p.m., there's a specific time. So now we are going down to the action that was going on that was interrupted by the specific time. 
So the action was what? I was in the process of eating dinner. So I was in the process of eating dinner, then the, the, the specific time interrupted. You know, so that specific time there is what I started earlier and at 6 p.m. So this is the, the so this is the uh, this is the specific time that interrupt this action that was going on in the past. All right, so these are the take care of care of God. It's important, you know, so to try to know how we use specific time in past simple, how we use specific time in past progressive. All right.